morning. Morning, Albertson, B and D, and Anna Lee. We're getting ready to go up and get a part for an outside shower. Um, my wife uses the thing to pick up the dog, you know what, and uh, we have to wash it off. So I have to replace the hose on the outside shower. Just part of full time RV, and I'll get back with you later. Bye bye. By the way, that's Bernie and Donna you see there, and this guy here is Mr. Frog. Mr. Frog's been with me for probably 25 years. And that lady you're sitting right there is my next door neighbor. She's a nurse and a really wonderful person. Wave at him, honey. Good enough. You're going to be on YouTube. All right. <laughs> What you just saw was the train that comes through Mesa and Tempe and Phoenix out here. They're big on that and they really do use them. See how modern these stations are here? Now we're kind of coming into downtown Mesa. If you look close, you may see some of the architecture and uh, some of the statues that have been made or they've been here for some time. You got baseball players and workers and uh, iron furniture and just different things. Uh, it's a very quaint, beautiful little town. Beautiful. If you have an opportunity to visit out here, don't hesitate to take it because uh, Everything it seems to be done right. It's true. It's difficult to park here. Some of these parking meters charge five dollars an hour, but It's not too bad. It's not too bad See this air this is part of the train station right here everything is just beautiful Now we're headed east, and uh, this will run out before long, but uh, they're considering uh, making a uh, rail line from uh, Phoenix to Tucson, and uh, that's in the works. So the desert is blooming, folks. It's blooming. Job opportunity isn't too awful bad out here. Uh, the average wage page isn't too awful bad out here. A lot of people working, a lot of people riding bicycles back and forth. It's just a good place to be. Now we're coming up on another train station. If you look over to the left, you'll see what they call park and ride. You see all those cars over there? See them loading on the train here? There's another one waiting. These are all electric and they're quiet, they're air conditioned, they're clean. You can ride anywhere from Phoenix to back all day long on the bus or this rail line for $4 a day. That's pretty cheap. Okay, we just came out of camping. We're over on University Avenue here. It looks like it's train day or something. Uh, anyway, um, they didn't have what I want, so I'm going to the old faithful Walmart to see how they fixing the update, they can take care of our needs. All we need is a hose with a, with a nozzle on it. And the only thing I had for me there at uh, Camp World was the entire outfit where you'd have to cut a hole in the side of the camper and do some plumbing. Uh, really don't need to do that, so we're looking elsewhere. The architecture out here, how, how much different it is. So we're on University Avenue here, and uh, as I said before, we just came out of camping world. Uh, didn't have what we needed, so we're headed to Walmart. Uh, well, they have it or not, I don't know. 
but it's the roofs, if you see the roofs on some of the houses and businesses that they have out here, they're tile. Uh, they last about 30 or 40 years. But uh, there's so much to hear uh, fetch these roofs. And the shingle roof, when it's uh, 115, 116 degrees, has a tendency to curl and if it's not really a good shingle, they'll run a little. So they use uh, tile on it. And not only does tile blend in with the architecture, but it'll last about 30 years. So it works pretty well. And they use a lot of wrought iron. And you can see the palm trees and things down here. It's just a different, uh, different method of construction. Now they still use a lot of thick construction. But uh, they'll use brick or stucco, and almost every single yard out here uh, is, is walled in. Uh, where they use wood, there's a lot of termites out there. And when you have a, a wood fencing, it just doesn't last long. The heat uh, is hard on it, and uh, then the termites are in. And a lot of these uh, uh, housing developments out here won't permit wood fences because of the termites. So, what have learned that since we moved out here? Just a few things to share with you. Also, you'll notice uh, on the bus stops, I told you a while ago about a $4 pass would get you a, a train ride or a rail ride or a bus ride uh, all day long, uh, 20 bucks a week, and you've got, to, you've got it for a week, which saves a lot of gas. The bus stops out here all have covers on them, and the reason for that is, again, the sun. Uh, there's a lot of skin cancer. Uh, I've been treated for it myself, but uh, that was years ago. So that's pretty much it for now. I'll get back to you with more information. Uh, we're getting built up here to take off, and there's just a couple of things that need to be done. In uh, a unit that's 12 years old, you got to stay on top of it, as I'm, I'm sure you know. All right, we'll get back to you. They got a mall here, and this thing is about the size of a whole lot of small towns that I've seen. I cannot get over how huge these things are. Over there is a cracker barrel. That's the only place in here that you can get uh, chicken livers. Apparently in Arizona people don't eat chicken livers. Of course my neck's red. <laughs> 